Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali. In today's video, we will see how to use substitution variables while preparing a report in a narrative reporting application. But first, we need to understand what is meant by substitution variables. So, substitution variables are variables that are defined at the EPM cloud or S-based data source that serves as a placeholder for specific members that change regularly. In the EPM cloud, you can set user variables to limit the number of members displayed on a report, helping users focus on certain members. For example, if you create a user variable called division for the entity dimension or any other dimension, you, users can select a member for their own division. We can use the variable current month to represent the current month, say January, and you can insert it as a member selection in a report. Now let's go to our narrative reporting application and just see it practically. So this is the narrative reporting application and let's go to reports. Let's go to reports. So these are all the reports. In this, I have already prepared this one report in which I have used substitution variable. All right. So let's make quickly make another one so that we can easily understand it. Click on create report. On setup grid, choose your data source. All right, so from here, we need to select all the members for account. Let's suppose take the balance sheet. If you are preparing the balance sheet report, select all the descendants of balance sheet in account. Click on OK. In HSP view, first we are selecting the members and then we'll move to the members for which we are we want to select the substitution variable. For HSP view, I am selecting base data, scenario, scenario is actual. Version is working. Entity. Select the entity product. All right. So for year, I am going to choose substitution variable. So from member selector from here, go and choose substitution variables. From here, we have various options which are in our application, vision application of planning. So from here, choose any. Let's suppose I'm choosing this substitution variable. This works for the current year, financial year 21. All right, in period, go to member selector. Click on members, select substitution variables. And let's suppose I want this report for this variable and period. Okay, this is for the month Jan. Click on OK. And when we will preview this report, we can see this report for month January, which is my substitution variable and year, which automatically comes FY21. Since I use a substitution variable here for the, uh, for the member dimension member year and rest all the information. So in this, basically uh, you can use substitution variable. All right. So that's all for today. This is how we use substitution variable. Thank you and have a great day.